swapping out all of the white throw pillows and replacing them with the all black velvet throw pillows to give it a little bit more of a cozier vibe to the space. And as you can see, I've changed up the pillows and it made a, you know, a drastic difference to me. 
so now I'm going to replace the window panels that are there I like it but I'm looking for a more of a brighter shade of white kind of like the look here in my bedroom so we're going to be heading off to Ikea to see if we can locate some more panels. The ones in the living room, I originally purchased them from Z Gallery and the ones in the bedroom came from Ikea. But as you can tell, there's not much of a big difference except for the ones in Ikea, you get more for your money. So I'm going to definitely see if I can find the same ones and, you know, hopefully achieve a similar look in the living room for less. So I'm back from Ikea. I managed to pick up some new curtains or some new panels for the living room, as well as I grabbed some panels for my son's room. And all in all for uh, panels for both areas, I still ended up spending less than what I did for the original panels that I had up there. And here's another look at the curtain. I know before the sun was out, so it's kind of hard to tell the actual color. But now, you know, that it's nighttime, you can kind of tell that it's not completely bright white and I want it to be a more bright white sheer. So prior to me getting ready to hang the panels, I did in fact steam them. So I recommend before you hang any panels after taking them out the packet, you certainly want to try to steam them as best as possible to get out you know, any unnecessary wrinkles. Now what I'm actually doing here is instead of using two curtain panels, meaning one on each side, I'm actually going with four because I wanted to have a little bit, you know, fuller and grander look than what the first ones had.
panels is a much grander look in comparison when I had only one panel on each side before. This is four panels, two on each side. Again, it's still minimalistic, but just a grander look for the wide scale window. And here is a view of it in the daytime where you can kind of see the true color of the white sheer. This look certainly brings out the window a whole lot better than before.